What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to give you a complete breakdown on one of my favorite baseline out-of-bounds series called the Triangle Series. You probably recognize, as you watch this video, that the Boston Celtics used a similar setup in the NBA playoffs. I'm going to drop a link in the description down below to the Boston Celtics Triangle Series because that will give you some ideas of other actions you can use out of this base setup. I'm going to show you three complementary actions today, but before I jump into it, I'm going to talk a little bit about the setup. So you're going to have two players at the free throw line that are going to be stacked. You're going to have a player on this block and a player on this block, and then obviously your inbounder. In terms of personnel, we typically had these as more of our, our taller type players because in the first action, they're going to cut into the basket. But we also mix it up for different matchups and different reasons during the season. So think about your personnel because they really can be interchangeable in terms of what you're trying to do with this series. So these don't have to be post type players. They could be. Um, think about it as I'm going through the series and where you see your players. But these were typically taller players for us. And in the first action, we're going to have this first player pop out to the corner. I'm going to have this player pop out to the corner as well. You've probably seen this action at some point from a team that you've played against. This is one of our favorite actions, and we use it every single year with our team. So the two players pop out to the corner. You could have them cross this way to add a little bit of a wrinkle in there and cause a little bit more of a distraction for the defense. Then we have this first player cut to this block, and the second player cut to the weak side block. We actually told these two players they could mix up which way they were cutting. The back player would tap this player on the hip of the direction they were going to go. So if they hit their right hip, they went right. This player went left. If they hit their left hip, they went left, and the other player went right. It was kind of a subtle thing that we did. Our players enjoyed having control over that movement. Now, this is great against man-to-man -man or zone. Think about zone defense for a second. This center is going to be put in a bind. When this player cuts to the strong side, they're going to have to pick them up or you're going to get a layup. When this player pops to the corner, this forward is typically going to go out to the corner. We wanted this to be one of our shooters to take them out. And we're going to try to two versus one this center. Now, this forward is the key to the whole play. If this player cuts down to the weak side blocker, as they cut down, if this forward stays home, we would skip to this corner and we would get a three-pointer out of it. If this player works out to the corner, then it's going to be a wide-open layup inside. So you really put the defense in a bind, again in a zone uh, with this action. But it's also great against man-to-man -man because we taught this player – if as their man was defending them, probably in here, we would tell them to step and really try to seal that player and get them on their hip so we could make an entry pass to the weak side. So great against man, great against zone. At the least, you're going to have this player get the ball over here in the corner and catch even against man-to-man. -man. But we did hit these inside players against man as well. Now, the second play is going to have the same setup, but it's going to complement this first action. Let's check it out. Second action, you get the same setup, and we're going to go with a little bit of a screen the screener action. So this is just play two in the triangle series. You can title it triangle two if you want or whatever you want to call it. But this is our second action. So we are, again, going to have our players set up two in the blocks and two here in the middle. And we're going to have this player just kind of fade out as a safety valve. And we're going to get a little three-man action in here. We're going to have this player screen up. And this player is going to cut hard down to the block. There's our first option. If they jab and then use that screen appropriately, they could definitely be open. Off of that, we're going to have great screen the screener action. This player is going to come up and screen. And this player is going to work down to the weak side. And then we would tell this player to come right down to the middle. So, again, you have your three players with their actions into different spots. And then you have your safety valve up at the top. Now, if you're going against the zone, we typically would tell our players that in this same action, we would actually just work off the center. If it was man-to-man, -man, obviously you screen their man. Otherwise, 
we would actually screen the center and we would have this player come down in here. The forward might pick them up and then we would have this player work and screen the center and this player come to the weak side. The forward might pick them up, but then we'd let this player slip in and they typically would get a layup against zone. So again, it's good against man or zone. You might see the guards start to cheat up, which is why we had this player long as the safety valve. This was a second action. And the third one you're really gonna love because we're gonna get this player back in the mix. So we got triangle one, triangle two, and now triangle three, or whatever you'd like to call them with your team. Again, we have that same setup. I'm gonna work off of that second action. So. Well, this time going to have this, this player here is actually going to come through and they're going to clear through to the ball side corner. And this is all going to happen very quickly. This player is going to come up again to set a screen, right? So now the same action as play number two, they come up and set the screen. Only difference is this player is going to clear very quickly. Now, this player is going to come off the screen, but we tell them to come a little flatter and come out to the wing. This player is going to be the decoy. They're going to throw their hands up, and they're going to say, you know, ball, ball, like they're coming out here, and try to get their defender to chase them a little bit over the top, and then they're going to stick their foot in the ground, and they're going to come right back down to the basketball on the weak side. So we've now cleared out that side of the floor. There's nobody there. We can steal a layup with this action and we would uh, a couple of times a year we would we would get a nice easy layup out of this action because teams would be so worried about the screen the screener that happened or about the screen here and they would think this player was going to be the decoy when they saw this player work back throw their hands up they stick their foot in the ground they come down hard their player turns their head here as a defender for a second they look to help whatever they do or they they might maybe cheat to try to get a steal on a lob you, you get them in on the weak side now if that doesn't work we would go to a, a play that i actually have included in our box series which is really really simple so that player has cut down to the weak side block we have a player out here on the wing and we have our screener who can end up back at the top we would just throw the ball in bounds to this player who made the cut across. If we couldn't get the weak side corner, they would skip out to the wing. And then this player would come in bounds, the inbounder. We would screen down for them, and we would come back out here. So that was kind of our safety action. Players knew it. They knew if we can't get into, uh, you know, this was almost like an automatic easy layup. That's not there. Just hit the corner, and we'll run our action from the box series, which was our box one play Really simple action. Every player knew it on our team. So this was an easy thing for us to do if we didn't get the layup in this particular situation. Now, against the zone, it's going to be a little bit harder in terms of clearing out that side. It was typically better against man-to-man -man because obviously this player comes up and they cut hard down into the paint. And this player comes up to screen. This player comes to the corner the forward is typically going to stay home and pick up that weak side cut. You have your other forward. But what we would be able to maybe take advantage of, depending on where the guards were, is we could actually screen this guard and we can get this player on a shot out to the wing. Or if that didn't work, this player could certainly work back into the middle. Or we just get into our box one action. As I mentioned, even against man to man, we would just hit the corner we would throw back out here and then screen down and pop back out to the corner. So um, it's not as good, the third play, against man-to-man. -man. It certainly could work. We actually have screened this guard before and had an open three out here on the wing. So don't go away from it, but one and two are going to be better against zone. Three is a nice wrinkle against man-to-man. -man. And there's many other plays that I'm sure you, the wheels are spinning, thinking about other plays that you can use in this series make sure you hit that like button down below turn on your notifications and subscribe to get better basketball for more great series plays drills ssgs just like you saw here with the triangle series this is one of my favorites and i know you'll love it with your team